Hey everyone, April Dunham here. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a modern SharePoint list and make a hyperlink to open up a Power Apps Canvas app which is connected to that list data. So some of you may be wondering why is this necessary? We can just use the customize form with Power Apps option in SharePoint and it does that for you automatically. That's a good point, but I like to use standalone Canvas apps whenever I can because it's free from some of the current limitations of the customized SharePoint Power Apps. Me, the biggest limitations are the fact that these SharePoint customized Power Apps don't show up in the Power Apps gallery. So if you're trying to interact with it on your mobile or tablet, it's not gonna be there. And the inability to export and import the apps themselves. Now let's go into our intro and then we'll dive right in and show how to make this happen. So what we have here is a basic modern SharePoint list for holding equipment inspections. The desired functionality is we want the user to click on the serial number value for which they want to see or edit and have that automatically open up the Power App to the details page for that specific item. Something that isn't natively set up when you do a standalone Canvas app connected to SharePoint. So you have to do a little extra configuration to make that link happen. That's what we're going to show you today. Let's start by taking a look at the Power App itself. As you can see, it's just a simple three screen app with the gallery on the home page of the list of items. You can click on the item, see the details, and click the pencil to edit the details for that item. There's just a couple formulas that we need to put into this app to make it accept a parameter from the link we're gonna be providing it and automatically move to that details screen. So we're gonna start by clicking on the app in our Power Apps, and we're gonna to go to the on start of that app. And what we want to do is this pretty simple formula here. So it's an if, and we're saying if the parameter that we've set, and we're going to use the key of ID in all caps. So if that is not blank, we're going to set a variable called var ID to the value of that parameter that we are passing it. After that, we want to navigate to the details screen. Now, if there, the parameter is blank in this case, then the app will behave as normal. It'll automatically open up to that gallery screen where you have to select an item and go into it. So if a user is using this in the mobile app, it'll behave as normal. If they're using it to initiate it from SharePoint, it'll go directly into the browse screen of the item they're selecting in SharePoint. Last thing that we have to do from the Power App side of the house is go to the details screen where you want to direct the user to if they're opening the app from SharePoint and we need to find the form that's uh, showing the data and go to the item property. And we need one more formula here. It looks very similar to that original one. It's an if statement. We're again checking if that parameter is not blank. If it's not, we need to get the object in SharePoint. So we need to do a lookup to our equipment inspections uh, data source in SharePoint, match it on the ID if it equals the variable that we set earlier, and if, um, if so, use that, else use the selected item in the browse gallery instead. All right, so now we have our Power App configured as we need to accept the parameters and navigate to the screen. Now let's jump back to SharePoint and figure out how to make that serial number column link to the Power App and pass in the appropriate ID. To do that, we're going to be using the new SharePoint column formatting capabilities. So if you click the drop down next to the serial number column, you should see an option for column settings and then format this column. That will open up on the right hand panel the SharePoint column formatting box. Now I've already written the formula or the code needed to format this as a hyperlink and I paste that in there. It's pretty simple. All we're saying really the important things to know is the element type is A, meaning it's a hyperlink. Then in the attributes, we're defining how do you want this link to open? So target equals blank means it will open in a new tab. And then we're passing in the URL in the href tag. So to get that URL for a Power App, we need to jump back to Power Apps and go to the details screen and copy that web link below there. That's the link to your Power App that we want to put 
back in our SharePoint column formatting there in the H um, in the href. Then after that, we need to append a question mark in all caps ID equals. Very important that it's all caps because it needs to match what we're checking for in Power Apps back in the previous step. Then we just need to put a plus sign and in brackets, in dollar sign, ID, close bracket. That gets the ID from SharePoint for us and dynamically passes it in. Notice when I click save, the formatting changes for the serial number. It looks like a hyperlink now. Now, hopefully if I click this first one, it should open up the Power App, pass in the ID, and take us straight to the detail screen. Let's see what, what happens. There you go dynamically got the ID and opened up that record in Power Apps. So as you can see, not too complex. This is a good thing to know, especially when you're moving over those old InfoPath forms into Power Apps. Knowing how to make that hyperlink open up the Power App itself is very important. I will put links to the code used in this um, in the notes of the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.